I am very excited to announce that I'm teaming up with Mr. Humble. He has a Facebook group called Men in Competitive Gaming. Link to that is in the description. Go over there, find some other games, find some lab partners, have a great time, converse with some people that have the same interest as you. I'm over there. You can message me. Overall, just a great time. Really recommend you check it out. And let's get into the video. All right, welcome back to another video on the channel, everybody. I'm going to finish up the Tripside and ebook today. Now, I'm sorry for be really being lazy the last week. I was busy with some school. Also, did some stuff on NBA 2K. Had a lot of fun with some buddies of mine. So that was what I spent my time doing. But to repay you guys, I'm gonna finish up the ebook and we'll talk about two plays today, which is gonna be Xbot, or which are gonna be Xbot and Verticals. Now the thing about those two plays is that I really am not using them too much. Um, they're very popular. A lot of people use them. Don't get me wrong. It's just not what I do. So that's why I waited until the end to show them to you. But I promise they're nice. So. Uh, now with every video I, I'm doing on the trip side end, it's important you have Backfield Master and Titan Apprentice. Those are the two most important abilities. Get a quarterback with Gunslinger also. x spot going to be the play. And there are two setups kind of that I want to show you guys. And we're going to run this against the two odd. I mean, the first thing we have to see is what if our opponent comes out in 3 2 5 odd, which is one of the most popular zone defenses right now. What is he doing? If he's sending the blitz, then we can't put out a running back on a route, on a route if we're not careful. So, this is going to be our first setup. We're going to put the running back on a flat route. We're going to put Kelsey on a post. We're going to put Hardman on a slant. We're going to motion snap Hill across in a specific way. I'll show this in a second. But I'm sending up the blitz uh, on defense right now really quickly. And if I send out the running back as I'm doing right now, you ha you'll see that I have to be very, very careful with how I step up in the pocket. Like right there, you can see me picking it up and I can throw that ball. Now, the read is very simple. It's going to be to the running back. Then we're going to make the read between the post and the slant, or the post from the tight end and the slant. And if we have time enough, we can try to wait until we can throw hill. All right, I just made the adjustments. So, gotta step up, gotta step up, gotta step up. Alright. Jenny, I forgot to put the tight end on the post there, but it's fine. One more time, I'll do the setup. And then we'll go into replay and just show you guys kind of like where the holes in the zones are. So, really the important thing is if you see that they're setting up the blitz and they're sending uh, the guy off the edge, then you just have to step up, be smart with it. Yeah, just like that. Oof. Oof. See, even then it can get in. So I'll, I'll run this one more time. My bad, you guys. And this time I won't send the blitz just so I can show you guys where the holes in the zones are. Doesn't have the ball right here. And we'll just wait. I won't throw a pass. Actually, I'll throw it late across the middle of the field. Bye. Okay, let's go into replay and check out what we are doing. Or what we did and what was open. Instant replay. There we go. Boom. Alright. So first thing. Oops, my bad. Our uh, running back is open in the flat. Take him right there. Boom. Throw that. Easy five to seven yards. Somewhere around there. That's what you'll get. Second read is going to be the slant. Throw that with a low pass right here. So, right here. Throw that right there. Boom. He got it. Now. Oops, my bad. I pressed circle accidentally. Um, now, the, things, uh, the thing that is interesting is going to be the two post combination. The first post is going to get open right here. You can see how this zone drops down, so we can throw that with a high pass right now, or we can wait a little bit longer and then throw it with a pass lead to the sideline. You can see if I pass lead that somewhere right here, we can undercut him right there. We see, okay, he, he, he paid attention. But even before the break right there, if we throw it with a pass lead down and to the sideline, we can get that. And of course, across the middle, just hold L2 or LT if you're on Xbox while, pass, uh, while making a bullet pass to uh, the post from wide receiver. And catch that with possession catch now before we get into verticals please make sure to subscribe to the channel thank you guys um but really this is the only setup for this um uh for this play it is tough to stop though and one thing that i want to uh, show you guys is i'm gonna snap the ball and try to not get sacked this time oh man oh man oh man uh sometimes we can pick it up sometimes we can't so i'll just show this to you guys um I'll now block the running back. You will see how I'm blocking the running back right now. So, boom. Just like that. Alright, gonna motion snap. Uh, hill across. 
Also, you guys let me know if you want to see maybe some 2K gameplay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Maybe I have to. Maybe I have to. Block the running back and then ID the mic on the guy. All right. This might just be the best bits in the game, you guys. This might just be the best bits in the game. I'll try this one more time. <laughs> Alright. Um, you saw we picked it up a couple of times at the beginning of the video. I'm not going to talk about this anymore. It is annoying me and um, I'm sorry. We won't do it. Verticals, that's going to be the second play. The first setup is really simple. It's it's the idiot beater, I call it. Um, you put Hartman on a curl, hitch, out route, or you can put a smoke screen out there on Watkins. This is a great cover three beater on the left side. Like, this is so difficult to stop out of a cover three shell. You pretty much have to run cover two, and then we have some other things, but we'll get to that in a second. And on the right side, it's also a nice cover three beater. Throw the running back right there, take it up the field. Boom. He dropped it. Nice. But um, this is one of the plays that is really easy to run. You just have to get, get your reads down. Like we get comfortable with your reads right there. You can see how that window opens up for the hitch. The smoke screen is a route that we'll pretty much never throw unless we have some specific curl flats uh, with maybe zone drops to, I don't know, let's say 25 yards. 25 yard uh, curl flats. Then we'll throw the. You just look me. Uh, then we'll throw the smoke screen. I'm not going to uh, talk about this too much. This is one of the most popular plays every year, pretty much. This is a concept that is very powerful every year. And on the right side, we have um, the... My bad. Uh, we have the the wheel route to the corner route. Now, the corner route is not that great. But there's one specific case in which it is actually pretty decent, and that is what I'm going to explain right now. I just have to quickly change the zone drops um, for vertical spoon. Coach adjustments, 25. Because that's what most people do to cover the crossing routes. And then we can exploit that and be a little bit smart with it. And then if we run this play, you will see how the uh, smoke screen on the left is open. And this corner out on the right is open. I even missed the read. I was a little bit late on it. But you see, 25-yard curve flats. Still we're able to throw that. Now this is what then gets difficult because we, because we can run. Oh, I don't have a crossing route in here. But let's just say we can run a crossing route that has to be covered by 25 yard curl flats. And we can audible to verticals. And then just run a play like that. And it's 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 cheating. Like both plays, they are so simple to run, and they both be very specific coverages that stop the other play but get absolutely destroyed by this play. So this is a nice combination I want you guys to be aware of. But now let's get into the fun stuff. Let's talk about beating cover two because this is mainly a cover two beater. Of course, you just saw right there we can beat cover three with it, but cover two, even better. We just want to block the halfback, put Hartman on drag, and now you will see if we get the time, launching it down the middle. Nice, nice and easy. Don't you have to talk too much about that. You guys saw what happened. That's some news you can do. Now I'm going to audible to cover two again on defense. Of course, talking about cover two zone here. And if we now motion uh, hill across, you will see how this can be open, but it is a little bit uh, more of a tight throw. Um, like right there, obviously, that did not look open at all. If you have Gunslinger right there, you might have a better shot at it. But this is something that was popular last year. It's not so much this year just because it's such so tight of a throw. Just know against opponents with bad dbs out there that have low zone coverage you can maybe make that work but it's a difficult throw to make if you want to streak your tight end then you can hit the tight end across the middle but that's just it's that way with pretty much any cover two uh or cover two beat if you have a streak down the middle from an inside receiver or a tight end in that case you can pass lead that to the inside and then it's a cover two beater and there's one more thing that I want to show you. This uh, circle route, in my opinion, is criminally under underused. I really enjoy running it. Um, I blocked the uh, my bad. Uh, I blocked the halfback. I streaked the tight end. I put Watkins on a drag, and now you will see how this crossing route. That's pretty much what it is. It's crossing route. Gets really deep. That's what she said. But it gets over top the 25-yard curl flats, and that is something that is. Yeah, let's just say 
um, at a minimum difficult to deal with for your opponent. So right there, you can see me throwing that. Um, good defense by the court, by the DV, but you guys saw uh, that there's a window there where we can fit that ball in. Especially nice against cover two. I'll show you this against cover two in a second. Nice. Got. I throw out of sack. One more time against cover two, and I think then we'll end it. We'll make this kind of a short video. This is, of course, the end of my trips that end. I'll upload uh, the files that I had written down for. Uh, because this was originally, like I said, something that you guys would have to pay for. That was a lot more in-depth. This is more kind of surface level if you want to read some of the more in-depth uh, in depth setups. Uh, they are going to be in the PDF file that is over on my PayHip link to that. It's in the description. It's 100% for free. I decided to not do it for you guys to pay for it. And yeah, I'm out. Short video. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.